hello and welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to see how to monitor squid proxy server with cacti which is a graphing tool and it will help in the analysis of our squid servers performance and our network traffic so let's begin with the installation of the SNMP services yeah so first of all I wanna make sure you have a working squid server ready so we'll first start with the installation of the SNMP services in the squid server So now we have to edit the snmp.conf file and just comment out this last line and then save and exit. Now edit the snmpd.configuration file. and what you need to do is just add the following lines and what you need to add just add these lines so what it will do is just you know like a proxy for the port redirection part since cacti will use a specific port and SNMP port uh, for squid is different so it will just create a proxy for that port to access the SNMP services save the configuration file and exit and then we have to edit the squid configuration file and move to the last section of this configuration file and then add some lines SNMP public I'll just remove these lines and I'll add it from the start so here we mention the SNMP port community and the allowed addresses which can access the SNMP services on the system and then we have to uh, save the file and exit then just restart the SNMP services and uh, followed by the squid services to test the working of the SNMP we'll use the SNMP walk and let's see what we get so as you can see here the SNMP string along with the OS version so it means that SNMP is working our system for the squid server is set up now we'll proceed to the installation of cacti I'll log into the cacti system now so here we are at the cacti system console and let's log into the system okay so at first we need to do a system update apt get update it will take some time and we'll update the repositories so it has finished updating now we'll install cacti is simple just apt get install cacti and it will install it press y so installation is almost completed so uh, let's uh, give a password for the mysql press ok select apache
press yes and password of database administrative user give a password for the SQL user so installation is successful now we can access cacti from the web browser just point to the IP address slash cacti press next new install next leave all the settings as their default finish now for the first time when you are login in uh, use username and password as admin and admin click login now we have to change the password so we are going to change the password <coughs> done now here is our cacti user interface and for squid we need some graph templates which are to be downloaded I have the link shared in my blog post you can find it there I am going to download the things required from this website there are two XML files so I'll click download all or it's better single download save file next down so now what we are going to do is just create a graph for this host but before that we are going to import the templates so click on import templates Let's try again uh, browse for the template files press import done then click import temp press import done now we have to create a device for the network so here press add description is squid server hostname give the IP address of your squid server that is 0 0.50 host template select squid proxy keep everything to their default you can make it here version 2 and create now see we are getting an error SNMP error so we have to check why the error is there so for that what we need to do is just clear the screen then for checking it just press put in the IP address of your squid system see we are getting no response that means there is an error with the squid system so what we need to do is here we have to edit this so we are going to first remove the file and then edit it and again add the proxy thing here and then we will restart the SNMP services see now we have refreshed the page and uh, the error is gone and the uh, SNMP details, is, details are shown here so now we have to create graph create graph for this host and select the type of graphs you want to create now for quick demo I am going to select all the graphs press create okay so the graphs have been created now we have to click on graph trees and we will add a tree squid create and tree items we will add 
root host select squid server graph template and one minute average create then save it now in the graph section the don't worry the graph generation will take around uh, 5 to 10 minutes after the graph is generated so till then you won't be able to see any graphs generated in the graph section of squid so after some time you can see the graphs are generated by clicking on the graphs tab you can see the graphs so there are uh, many types of graphs available here and if you click on a specific graph it will show you daily weekly monthly and yearly status you can also zoom the graph if you want by just selecting the area and it will show you the zoomed version of the graph so here it is and if you have any problems queries just post a comment and I, I'll be there to help you out.